So, you want to eat your food? I know. I'm going to eat your food. You going to eat your nuggets? Yes. What's up? Oh, the floor. Yeah, so sit on the floor and watch TV. No, sit on the floor. What? Oh, no, you don't need no... Ch okay, listen. Okay, I'll give you some lip balm. But you eating food, so listen. Okay, yeah, go eat your Happy Meal. Um, Happy Meal. Grandma's going to do this. Okay, well, whatever. What's up, you guys? It's April, of course. So this video is going to be something like, it's not really formal. You know, it's just an informative video. I did promise you guys that I would do this video. And I really did want to do it this weekend, so I'm doing it now. My plans was to do it earlier this week, but I had no tooth or I had a missing tooth. So now I am all done up. Not really done up, but I have my new teeth. Okay, so these are my permanent teeth now. Um, and I'm so happy with them. They were done Thursday, the 15th of June. So I have been smiling ever since Thursday, okay? I think my mouth hurts a little bit because I've been smiling so much, but it takes some use to uh, take some getting used to because um I keep licking the back side of them in the um front cuz they're like so smooth. They they um they feel like porcelain. Well, they are porcelain and um they have gold inside. My dentist hooked me up. But um he did like an amazing job on them. You know, like they're not too bright white. They match my own teeth perfectly. Though I wish my teeth were bright white, but they're good like a, a off shade of white for somebody who used to smoke cigarettes. Oh, if, if I brighten my teeth, like bleach my natural teeth, I don't know if these will turn like bleach too. I have to ask him that when I go back in three weeks to get my teeth pulled because I do have to still go back and get more construction or whatever you want to call it done to my mouth. Um, but yeah, so it's taken me a little bit used to getting used to and also certain letters or words I, um, really have an issue or you can hear like a list of me pronouncing them because I'm just not used to them. Um, so yeah, but I'm happy that my gap got fixed because you know, I wasn't born with the gap. So, Oh, bless you. You can like cover your mouth. Get out of here. You're not getting my stuff. Go eat your Oh, bless you. Okay. Go. Did he really just come over here to sneeze on me? Anyway, so yeah, that's my grandson. My daughter's at work. And I do have a frappy. I don't even like McDonald's, but I'll drink that. And then I'm, it's like an X lac. So, um, it'll make me go to the bathroom, okay? I don't want no french fries. So this video is all about these that I be taking which are the hydroxy cuts. Now, these are the hydroxy cuts pro clinical lose weight. Um, now in no way, shape or form am I being sponsored by them. I have been taking these things for years and a lot of people want to know how have I lost so much weight in the past couple of months because I really did lose a lot of weight. I was 224 pounds like a few months ago. So now I am like 204. So now I weigh 204 pounds. So let me tell y'all, I have been taking these for years. Like seriously, like literally I've been taking these for years. Not just from when I moved here to Arizona, which would be four years, but I used to take these when I lived in New York. Now for one, they give you a lot of energy because it is caffeine in them, but it also boosts your metabolism. And you know, you, metabolism is what burns fat, burns the food or burns the fat. And some women, some people in general, their metabolism doesn't work as speedy or as fast as you would want it to. You know, like when we're younger, sometimes it's a little bit harder for us to gain weight. I know when I was younger, it used to take me like j forever to gain weight. I couldn't gain weight. So 
um, because I had a good metabolism, it was just super fast. I would burn fat a lot. Um, and as I got older, unfortunately, it doesn't work like that. Some people are born like that, who they're so fortunate their body just burns fat, like you know, like that. But for others, it's not a, a luxury, like myself, because I think like if your body can burn fat that quick, it's a damn luxury. So sometimes I need like a boost to help me. Um, and I did notice this like past few months ago, uh, probably like six, seven months ago, I started noticing this. And that's why I went back to taking the hydroxy cut. So for one, it has caffeine in it. So it does keep some people awoke. It doesn't really do that to me, I think, because I'm so used to it now. But um, it also gives me energy. So I don't really, I wouldn't really want to say that it'll keep you awoke, but it will give you energy, which is great because some people are not morning people. Some people are really sluggish in the morning. So it does give you energy. It boosts your metabolism. Does it stop you from eating? It does not stop you from eating. So it doesn't suppress your appetite that it doesn't do it for me. But like I said, it does boost my metabolism and it gives me like a world of energy. And plus, I'm not really like a morning person, but I do like to get up in the morning. So once I take these, as soon as I wake up, I'm good. I'm energized. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. But so here's the thing. You really need to be careful when taking these. There's a lot of different ones on the market. When I say a lot of different ones, there's a lot of different diet pills, but there's also a lot of different hydroxy cut pills as well. I don't really mess with like the gummy, um, gummy bear ones that they have, or there's ones that are just for women, or there's ones that's just for men, or there's pro ones. You know what I mean? I stick to what has been working for me for years, and which is these. Now, um, these, it does say it's America's number one selling weight loss supplement. And to me, I really believe that that's true because it really does help me lose weight. So when I take these, um, I do shed a lot of pounds, like super quick. Um, and for somebody that doesn't like to exercise, like I'm be honest with you guys, I don't exercise at all. I did, I did walk. I was walking for like a few months, but then it got really dreadfully hot out here. So I stopped walking, but I wasn't walking to lose weight. And honestly, it wasn't helping me lose weight. Like me walking was not making me lose weight. I was walking for three miles every day. That was for my knee um, because I do have arthritis in my right knee. So it was helping me with my knee to strengthen my knee for me to be able to come up and down the steps. So that's the reason why I was walking. It wasn't to lose weight. If it was to lose weight, girl, I would have been really pissed off. So it didn't help me at all lose weight. I was also at the gym working out daily at the YMCA, but it seemed like no matter what I did and how I was eating, I was eating healthy. I was drinking healthy. I will drink nothing but water. I stopped drinking drinking alcohol and I stopped smoking weed I still was not losing weight as I was working out I started just gaining weight I just kept gaining weight that's how I ended up going up to 224 pounds so I kind of got depressed with the whole gym membership because for one it was just like really down and out it was kind of gloomy in there and I just went back to taking these so I mean like you can see like a lot of my videos um my face has went down dramatically and also I do have like lookbooks from a few months ago I think like from back in March where I was a lot bigger you know I was wearing like a size um depending on what brand some 2x some 1x whatever now I wear like a large slash extra large depending on who it's made by but it does make you lose a lot of weight but for one the number one thing is there's side effects to everything um I have noticed that a lot of people that have high blood pressure, they really can't take diet pills. And you also should really go and talk with your doctor, your physician, before you take any type of over-the-counter um, pills, especially diet pills. Like, this is a weight loss thing. Some people, it makes their heart rate rapid. It may make your high your blood pressure raise. It all depends. Each person is totally different. Um, boy, would you go sit down and go pick up your french fries? With me, I really don't have any side effects unless it's some other type of diet pill. I have tried other diet pills um, in the past prior to HydroxyCut, and really, honestly, they did not work for me. Um, a couple of them I have passed out from, and I had, like, rapid heart rate. Um, so a lot of them really didn't work for me. But this one does work for me. Um, so, for one, this one comes with... I'm not really sure if they all come like this, but... 
I have noticed that you now do get 90 pills in a bottle and it, it all depends on what store you go to I think the best store to buy these would be from like at Walmart's or like maybe GNC at Walmart's they're always $19 at um, the grocery store at Kroger's um, which is fries here. I was so lucky as to one time they had a buy one get one free deal So I actually got two of them for the price of one which is great um, If you go into like other places sometimes you can find them a little bit more like by a few dollars But always check at like Walmart Walmart you'll never see them when they um, Walmart never has like a buy one get one free sale So definitely check your grocery store because they do have them a lot of times and they always have them on sale So everybody loves a good sale and also like GNC um, health food store So this one comes with 90 pills in it. Um, it used to come with 60 then it went up to 72 Then now it's been 90 it's been 90 for the past couple of months so this is how this works okay from day one to day three you are to take one caplet two times a day so like you will take two pills a day for the first three days okay so you know of course you're gonna space them out now you want to drink a lot of water consume like eight to ten glasses of water every day me I drink a lot of water out here because it's super hot in the desert so I just stay hydrated and a lot of times water is the most thing that I always drink okay so once you are on day four and beyond it says so once you have passed that threshold of day three you are to take two caplets twice a day so that's four pills a day okay four pills a day so me honestly my best thing to you guys who want to take this is as soon as you wake up in the morning take your first two because you have to take bless you it was going to sneeze the first thing that i would do um because you have to take Okay, just a second. You have to take four a day, and it says take two caplets twice a day. So, you know, you have to take two at a time. So, my suggestion, because it has caffeine, now there is another brand by them, same exact one, but it doesn't have caffeine in it. Me, honestly, and it'll say no caffeine. I like the one with the caffeine because, like I said, I like the energy, and I like to be wide awoke in the morning, so I like the caffeine. But if you don't want to take the caffeine, then you don't have to. Or what you can do is, like someone else I know, they have this one, and they have the non-caffeine one. So in the morning time, they take two of the caffeine pills, and then like mid-evening, they'll take two of the non-caffeine pills, which makes a lot of sense because some people, caffeine is is in their body and they can't fall asleep I used to in the beginning um, for a while when I noticed that it would keep me up I only would take two pills a day and this didn't really help me too much it kind of made the whole pro um, progress super slow only taking two even though it says take four a day it made my whole entire progress like really really slow so I said you know what your body has to get used to it and that's the main thing your body has to get used to it would you go? Go. So, like I was saying, my suggestion for those of you who want to take these and you want to take the one with the caffeine, I would say take it early as possible as soon as you wake up, the first two. And then, like around four in the afternoon, take the next two. So that way you're not taking them too late in the evening. I mean, I take them late in the evening, um, depending on what time I get up. I, I like to get it early, but if I forget, normally I just keep them right here on my desk so I know that they're there. But like I haven't taken any yet, and it's 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 8:42. Okay, I'll put it for you. It's 8:42. So in the evening, so I still take it. I know it's an elephant. Okay, go show mumsy. Go show mumsy. So I'll t I'll take the two because it doesn't keep me awoke. I'm used to it. But there are a lot of side effects, or not even a lot of side effects, but with any products you take, you have to be aware and you have to read like what what it can do to you. That's just with anything. Aspirin could have a side effect to you. Anything can have a side effect to you. Now, a lot of people probably want to know, what well, if you stop taking them, are you going to put the weight on? So there has been a time when I have taken them for so long that um, I had to stop taking them because I just kept losing weight and losing weight. And because it was in my system still, it took like about 30 days for me to 
for me to like totally get rid of them out of my system. So I still was losing weight after I was still taking them. So you will still lose weight, but if you stop taking them after a while, of course you're going to gain weight. If you're not doing anything to maintain your weight loss, if you're not eating healthy, like, okay, so if, do I eat healthy? I really don't um, eat healthy. Like, I mean, like I don't eat junk food. I don't eat junk food. But when I say I don't eat healthy means um, I don't eat three meals a day. I, I don't eat breakfast. So I don't eat like I should, like maybe I'll eat like once or twice a day. And that's it. Like, so that's not really eating healthy to me. I drink a lot of water. Um, and from occasionally I have like something like this, um, only because I didn't eat anything at all today. It's now 844 in the evening and I have not eaten anything at all today. Like I'll go through the whole day without eating because I'll be busy making a wig or I'll be doing videos and I'll be hungry, but I won't eat because I'm just on a roll. So the only thing that I really did do today was drink some vodka. Okay. Which that's not eating healthy to me. He is so crazy right now. Okay. Tinky is really crazy. So like I was saying, it does boost your metabolism. Um, it's not healthy to give to children. So I wouldn't suggest you trying to give this to your child. So there are very active ingredients in some of the hydroxy cut products. Um, and I really cannot pronounce these like papaya, which is a gar garcia papaya. I really can't pronounce these, but it does give you a breakdown of what's inside of them. Some of them include green coffee bean extract, which also makes you lose weight and also has caffeine in it. Um, the hydroxy cut website contains, um, studies that reports on an average of 10.9, um, to 50 pound weight loss in, you know, overweight volunteers who take a green tea extract for 60 days that is in used in some hydroxy cut products. So if you take these pills along with like a green tea, I know a lot of people like to drink green tea, and you know, that's a really good detox. If you take these with green tea, you'll lose more weight. So that's probably what I would do. Um, cause we have loads of green tea here. I just don't like the taste of it. Um, and you know, you're not really supposed to have it with sugar, but I just, I'm not really a tea person unless I got some sugar or honey in it. You know what I'm saying? But it all, like I said, it all depends on what you combine your meal with. Um, this, but I have been lately, I have been, I have just joined a new gym, which is Lifetime Fitness, and it's amazing there. They have a pool. I don't know how to swim, but I do do the, me and Mumsy, we do the water aerobics, so we ain't gonna drown. So that is for an hour, twice a week, we do that. But I do notice that it's great to take these before I go to gym because I'd be so energized and I'd be ready to get moving, okay? So... It says, does, does hydroxy cut work? Um, like I said, it all depends on how you take it, what your weight loss is, 10 to 50 pounds. It, I've lost like 20 pounds so far. So, okay. So like when hydroxy cut first came out, there were certain things in it, um, that would damage people's liver, would give you a seizure. So I know there's a lot of people that have left comments on some of my videos, like you don't have to take that. You can take something else or you can do this. Listen to each his own. Okay. I'm my own person. So what's good for you may not be good for me. And what's good for me just definitely may not be good for you. You know what I'm saying? But for those who think like, okay, what are these ingredients that are giving people seizures or liver disease or liver failure? Those ingredients are not included in hydroxy cut and haven't been in like the longest amount of time. This product has been out for years and years and years. And you really don't hear about too many people. I've never heard of anybody dying off of hydroxy cut. When I have purchased these, they're like Walmart and stuff. They will ID you. I'm not really sure why, but it does say you should be 18 and over to take these. Cause like I said, you're not supposed to give these to children. So they will ID you. If you are not 18, trust and believe they're not going to let you purchase these depending on where you live at, but they will ID you because this is like a drug, not really a drug, but you know what I'm saying? So does hydroxy cut work for me? It has. Um, I still do need to work out. I have lost like a tremendous amount of weight. Um, I lost my butt, unfortunately. Um, my stomach area is still there. It's not as big, but I have noticed that if I wear my waist trainer more, then I lose a lot more areas in my stomach, more belly fat. But let me tell y'all something. 
wearing that thing every day, all day long is like, listen, girl, I, I can't do it. I don't know how a lot of people do it all the time. And like, I'd be up for it. Like I will do it sometimes, but I just can't sometimes. I just can't, especially after I eat, I'll be just feeling like I'm dying. And then it's so hot out here. It's like, I just can't. I just really, really can't. So yeah, I try and then I do, but then I just stop and then I, and then I don't. Don't do that. Don't do it. So anyway, my highly number one advice to you guys, if you want to try hydroxy cut is to definitely make sure that you guys, if you have high blood pressure, please go and consult with your physician before you take this because a lot of friends that I know that have high blood pressure, they cannot take any type of diet pills. So Definitely consult your physician if you have hot blood pressure or if you feel like you have hot blood pressure, okay? And also, if you don't want to be awoke all night long, then by all means, get the non-caffeine one. I can't really tell you about the gummies or the other ones that HydroxyCut sells because I've never used them, okay? This is the one that I have been using forever, and it works for me. Um, and I know a lot of people are like, well... Why do you keep taking it? Because I'll stop using it for like a year and then I'll gain so much weight that it's like, okay, girl, listen, I'm going to have to go get some help. And these always help me. Like, seriously, they always, always really, really help me. So I'd be happy about that. But now it's time to like tone it up. So like you're not going to get toned by taking hydroxy cut. But you will lose some weight depending on the person. I'm not promising you guys are going to lose as much weight as me or more or less. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, it all depends on your body and also your health conditions. So it's to each his own. What's good for me may not be good for you. And what's good for the goose may not be good for the ganza. You know the old saying. So definitely check it out. Research it. Consult a physician if you feel a bit leery about it because I would never want anybody to like pass out from it But to me it works well, and I've always used it. So yes, love me some hydroxy cut I sure wish they would sponsor me and send me like a year supply of this stuff a girl would be definitely happy But you know it is what it is. So you guys I hope you guys enjoyed this informative video Tinky man is driving me crazy. So I'm gonna go because he took his chicken nugget and put it all on my bed Yeah